Hello. Hi, Jamika. I'm Tracy. I'm a nurse practitioner student at FAMU, and I'm in to see you today. Um, can you tell me what brought you in? Oh, I needed a physical um, for work, and I've also been having some headaches. Okay. What kind of work do you do? I'm a nurse. Oh, okay. And um, how long have you been having the headaches? Probably for about three weeks now. Okay. And do they just come on all of a sudden at a certain time of day? Um, it just com comes and goes at different times of the day. Do you notice that it's related to something like maybe stress or? It could be. I mean, um, we just moved to a new floor in the hospital, so that could have a lot to do with it. Absolutely. Okay. I see my assistant already checked your vital signs and your blood pressure was a little high, 148 over 70. So um, with your age, you would want your top, your top number, your systolic to be less than 140. So that is a little elevated. We'll take a look at that though. Okay. And your temperature was 98.1, your pulse was 68, your respirations are 16, and your oxygen level is 99%. Do you use oxygen? No, ma'am. Okay. When's the um, first day of your last menstrual period? Today is day two, actually. Today is day two? Mm hmm Okay. Are you a smoker? No. Okay. Do you drink alcohol? Occasionally. Occasionally? Mm hmm And what type of hobbies do you like to do? Shopping. Shopping? Yes. All right, so do I. <laughs> do you have um, any allergies? Not that I know of. Okay. And what about your past medical history? No past medical history. Okay. And what about surgical history? No surgeries. Um, family history? Yes. Um, my uh, paternal grandfather died of lung cancer. He was a smoker. Okay. And then my maternal grandmother has high blood pressure. And then my maternal aunt died of kidney cancer related to lupus. Okay. And not sure if I asked you, but are you allergic to any medication? No. No allergies. Okay. So we're going to start with our assessment. Let me... Sanitize my hands. And are you okay with me not using gloves for the um, some of the exam, or would you prefer that I use gloves? Oh, that's why I don't have to use gloves for some of the exam. Okay. So I'm just going to take a look at your skull and your scalp. And it is symmetrical. You have very nice, beautiful hair. Thank you. Got it. Very curly. Your hair is evenly dispersed. No deformities noted to the skull. You feel any tenderness? No. What about back here? No. Mastoid is not tender either. Can you smile for me? Can you puff out your cheeks? Okay. Can you open and close your mouth? All right. Does that hurt? No. Okay. So masteria strength is good. And I'm going to have you close your eyes and let me know when you feel something, touch you, and where. Head, cheek, forehead, chin, cheek, nose. Perfect. Now I'm going to take a look at your ears. Ears appear symmetrical to the face. There's no lesions, no drainage noted coming from the ears, no swelling, no redness or irritation. I'm going to take the otoscope and look in your ear. Okay. And I will gently and slowly insert. I'm going to take the tip of the oracle up and back to insert. Look at the ear canal. I do see hair, which is normal. The ear canal has no irritation, no foreign bodies noted, and no exudate. 
Then I'm going to look at your tympanic membrane. The tympanic membrane is pearly gray. I do see the malleus. And I also see the cone of light at 5 o'clock. Look at the other ear. Go again up and back on the oracle and slowly and gently insert the ear canal has no foreign bodies noted, no redness, no irritation. I do see hair and I also see a mole in your ear, which is normal. I do see the tympanic membrane. It is pearly gray. The cone of light is noted at seven o'clock and the malleus is also seen. Next, we'll do the Weber and the Renee test. <clears throat> I'm gonna take this and make a little noise with it, put it on the top of your head, and you let me know if you hear it equally in both ears or more in one ear versus the other. Okay. Equally in both ears. Okay, great. And next we're gonna check your bone conduction versus air conduction. You let me know when you stop hearing it, mm -hmm. and then I'll switch it to the front of the ear, mm -hmm. and then you'll let me know when you stop hearing it at that point as well. Okay. Stop hearing it. Okay, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Stop hearing it. Okay, and your air conduction is greater than your bone conduction and that is normal. That's what's expected to see. Okay. So now we will do what we call the whisper test. I'm going to whisper two words in your ear and you let me know what I say. Okay. I'm going to cover <laughs> one ear. Great job. Good times. Great. Now we're going to go to your eyes. I have a copy of a Snellen chart here. Okay. And I want you to cover your left eye mm -hmm. and read with your right eye. Mm -hmm. Use the line that is clear and most comfortable to you to read. Okay. Do you wear glasses? I do. Do you have them that you would like to put on? No. <laughs> okay. All right. Cover, um, yeah, there we go. Okay. So line seven, F E L O P Z D. I can actually read the line eight actually too. Oh right. Okay. D E F P O T E C. Okay. And switch. D E F P O T E C. Right. So your vision is actually 2020 without glasses. What? When's the last time you had your eyes checked? Oh, it's been a few years. All right. Well, you should um, you should get them checked. You should okay. really have that done once a um, once a year. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to look closer at your eyes. Can you just look straight ahead for me? Okay. Continue to look straight ahead. Okay, and I'm just going to dim the light a little bit. Okay. 
look at me, and then look um, straight ahead. Pupils are equal, round, reactive to light and accommodation. Can you look at my finger? Mm -hmm. Now look at the wall behind me. Look at my finger. Perfect. I'm going to use my finger. I want you to follow my finger with your eyes, not your head. Okay. Now I'm going to use my fingers, wave them coming mm -hmm. forward. I want you to let me know when you first see my fingers. Okay. Now. Okay. And now I'm going to look into your eye. Okay. Just look straight in it for them. Okay. Right, the red reflex is noted. And the red reflex is noted. And I did not see any opacities in your lens. Your sclera is white. Your eyelid, I don't see any redness, no swelling. And your eyebrows, the hair is evenly dispersed. There's no scaling present. And now I'm going to look into your conjunctiva and the ducts as well. No extra date noted, it's pink. No redness, no signs of irritation. And can you close your eyes for me? And I'm just gonna slowly and gently pull up, okay? Okay. I'm going to use this card mm -hmm. and I want you to cover one eye mm -hmm. and look straight ahead. Okay. Oh. With the, okay, sorry. <laughs> you can hold it in. Oh, okay. Here we go. And look straight behind me at the wall. All right. Now uncover. Okay. To the other side. Now uncover. Thank you. Now we're going to look at your nose, looking at the outer portion of your nose. It does appear it is symmetrical on your face. There is no um, septal deviation and I don't see any swelling, no drainage coming from your nose, no redness or irritation. Okay. And you can look just straight ahead for me. Okay. The nasal cavity is pink, it's moist. I do see hairs, nasal hairs, but that's normal. There's no redness or irritation. Look at the other side. It is also pink, moist. There's no drainage, no exudate, no redness or irritation. Can you take one finger and hold down one nostril and breathe in and out? Okay. The other side. Did you notice any difficulty doing that? No. Okay, so there is patency there. Now I'm going to have you cover your eyes. And I'm going to put um, just a little something underneath okay. so that you can smell it and you tell me what it is. Okay. You can just either, you don't have to actually okay. cover your <laughs> clothes. Cool. I'm okay. sorry. Okay. Coffee? Yes. 
And then we'll do that with one more item. Okay. Rubbing alcohol? It is. The alcohol wipe, actually. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go to your mouth and I'll actually put on some gloves to um, assess your mouth. Okay. So I'm looking at your lips. I don't see any lesions, any ulcers. Your lips are pink, moist, no cracking. Can you open your mouth for me? Can you stick your tongue out? Okay, can you move your tongue from side to side, up and down? Okay. And looking at your teeth, I see you have all of your teeth, which is good. Check out your gums. There is slight hyperpigmentation to the gums. And can you stick your tongue out? And I'm gonna give some resistance to it and you push against it. Okay, other side. Perfect. And can you stick your tongue out and say ah for me? Stick it all the way out. Oh, fine. Ah. Uh, all right. Uh, so the uvula is midline, is pink. I do see tonsils, and they are grade one. And the pharynx is present, and it is pink and smooth. So let me just clean my hands once again. Next we'll go to your neck. Okay. So I want to test your range of motion in your neck. Can you turn your neck from side to side? Okay, up and down. And can you touch your chin? Use your chin to touch your chest. Okay. And can you Extend your neck back. Okay. And I'm just going to um, press against it and you don't get it. There we go. Other side. Okay. And are you able to touch your shoulder with your ear? Other side. Okay. And now we will do your lymph nodes. I'm going to check your lymph nodes. You let me know if you feel any tenderness. Okay. <clears throat> we have preauricular post-auricular, occipital, submental, submandibular, superficial cervical, posterior cervical, deep cervical, tonsillar, and supraclavicular lymph nodes. Any tenderness? Mm -mm. Okay. Now, we will um, assess your thyroid. So we have the sternal, sternal notch here. Mm -hmm. So right above that is your trachea. We have your hyoid bone here. Behind it, we will find the, I feel the thyroid gland, the cricoid cartilage, and actually the thyroid cartilage, cricoid cartilage. And can you swallow for me? All right, I do feel your thyroid gland. And I am going to um, have you lean your head back and I'm gonna assess your thyroid from the back, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna have you drink some water. Okay. And this is your water. Thank you. So I'm gonna come from behind and I'll let you know when. All right. Tilt, tilt your head back just a little bit. All right, can you take a couple sips for me? And I do palpate the thyroid gland as it moves up and down. Next, we're going to go to your, um, let me go back. So I do palpate the thyroid gland as it went up and down with you swallowing. And then I also, um, the thyroid isthmus. 
So now we're going to assess your lung area. And I'm going to have you lift your shirt up, but I'm also going to ask you to turn around so that the, you're facing the camera. Okay. Like this? Mm-hmm. And I'm just looking anterior, posteriorly and anteriorly. I'm not noting any bulging, any retractions. And your respiratory rate is 16. I'm going to place my hands here. I hope they're not too cold. And can you say 99 for me? 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay. And you know, check your expansion, chest expansion. Can you just take a deep breath from me in and out? Great. And I'm going to just percuss both sides. Now we're going to do the diaphragmatic excursion. <clears throat> I'm going to go underneath the scapula. Okay, and I'm just going to offer you a bra just a little bit. Mm -hmm. There you go. Can you take a? <coughs> can you inhale and hold it? Breathe normal for a second and take a deep breath, exhale. All right, and hold it. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And take a, can you exhale and hold it? And now I'm going to measure both sides. So your left side is three centimeters. And your right side is three, a little over three, three and a quarter centimeters, which is normal on both sides. Now I'm going to listen to your lungs. Take a deep breath in and out. Now can you turn to the front and I'll also um, auscultate your lungs anteriorly. So can you turn to the facing the camera? And just take deep breath in and out for me. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Now you will listen to your heart. So no thrills, no heave, no are felt when I palpate. And now I'm going to check your um, PMI, your point of maximum impulse. And I do feel it. Some patients you can feel it on, some you cannot. It just depends on their anatomy. And I'm going to listen. Your heart rate is 64 and you are in sinus rhythm. I'm going to listen to all your heart sounds now with the diaphragm of the stethoscope and the bell. <clears throat> Aortic, pulmonic, third, tricuspid, and mitral. And now I'm going to flip it to the bell. And now I will have you lean forward, which will bring your heart closer to the surface, and I can listen a little better. Okay. And again, we'll do the diaphragm of the stethoscope, and then I'll switch it to the bell. Just a little. Can you scroll a little closer for me? Perfect. Aortic. Pulmonic. Herbs. Tricuspid, mitral. Now I'm going to ask you to lie down on the couch on your left side and I'll listen to your lungs there as well. Okay. So we are on our... This my left or right? You need to be on your left. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Jamika is lying on her left side, and I'm going to listen to her heart while she's on the left side with the diaphragm of the stethoscope and then the bell of the stethoscope. Aortic, pulmonic, herbs, tricuspid, mitral. You can sit up for me. And I do hear S1 and S2. I do not hear any bruises, um, murmurs. You're, again, your heart rate is 68 and you are in normal sinus rhythm. Finally, we will discuss the breast. We will not do a breast exam on Jamika, but I will go over a breast exam. So a breast exam in a female should be done five to seven days after the start of the menses. Um, when the examiner 
performs a breast exam, you should do it with the patient um, having their hands down at their side, the hands on their hips, with them leaning forward and lying back. You should palpate from the clavicle down to the breast line, and you should also palpate across from the um, sternum to the axillary line. You should go in a direction of up and down and then in a circular motion using the pads of your second, third, and fourth fingers. <clears throat> you should palpate each area um, gently, softly, with a soft technique, then palpate um, medium depth, so a light depth, medium depth, and then deep in each um, area. And it's also important to um, do breast exam on men as well when they come in for their physical exam and in the same fashion and making sure you go over in the axillary um, area. When you're doing a breast exam, you want to make sure that you are palpating for masses, for any nodules, um, noting the contour of the breast, um, looking for retraction. You also want to be sure to um, to assess the the nipples and squeeze them, not hard, but you do want to squeeze, make sure there's no discharge coming from them. You want to note the direction of the nipples and you want to um, know if they're inverted. Um, I think that is everything. We will conclude the physical exam on Jamaica. Thank you.